There it is. There's the fan. <laughs> Look at it. Right, I know what you're thinking. Sam, what is that shirt? <laughs> No, I haven't just come back off holiday. I'm going full Anderson pack mode to get in the zone for this video. But I think I've definitely shrunk it in the wash because it's a bit, a bit tight. Something a bit different today. I'm going to be breaking down the videography and the editing from the Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack Silk Sonic music video Skate. I'll also show you how to achieve some of the effects and give you some tips for your own videos. Now, I just love what Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack are doing at the moment. I think it's amazing. I'm a huge fan. I'm the biggest fan of the retro music style. I absolutely love the sound of it, but they've gone one step further as well, and they've made the music videos look like something of that era. So I've kind of tried to stick with that, with the style of this video. I've got the mist filter on at the moment, which I'll talk about in a little bit, and you'll be able to see the lights in the background have got that nice little hazy glow. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the video to start with. I just love how they're staring at all the girls on the skates. It's like, it reminds me of being at school. <laughs> So the first thing that stands out to me with this video is that it's got that film look about it. It's either been shot on film or they've applied a sort of a film effect. You can actually buy or download film grains to put over the top of your footage. So if you haven't got a proper film camera or you haven't got the budget to rent one, you can actually get the same effect by adding grain onto your footage. You can use the built-in grain within your editor if it's got one, but they're not very authentic. And there's two that I like to use, one from Film Convert nitrate which is really good but another one I use is from Tropic Color I'll leave a link in the description and they've basically got different film grains for different styles so you download those and you just drag and drop them onto your footage and it gives it that authentic film style and it's in, it's just it transforms it it's amazing so as you can see in this shot you know it looks nice but once the film grain is applied it just gives it that extra retro feeling straight away so I love it Right, so I don't know if you noticed then, but when they jump in the frame, the camera actually follows them. Now, I don't know if they've done that as a camera movement, because it almost looks as though they've done it in post afterwards, like they've cropped into the image, and then they've keyframed it to do the movement. So it's super simple to do. All you have to do, scale up on the footage so it zooms in a little bit, so you've got a bit more room to play with. And then on the movement where they jump, where they do this, all you have to do is adjust the position by adding keyframes to follow that movement. And that's it, it's super simple to do. It's just a nice little extra that they've added that emphasizes the performance a little bit more and that's really clever. Just another tip as well, that's why it's so important to have an understanding of what the performance is gonna be like before you turn up to film. And also practice it, practice those movements and figure out who's gonna be where at what part of the song, for example, if that's what you're doing in a music video. And it's just little things like that that make your music video different and stand and out a little bit more. So I'm stopping it there because the next thing I noticed was the colour scheme. I love the use of colours. They've obviously gone for that retro look. You've got yellows, browns, greens, reds, and you don't see much more going on than that. There's a few pinks in there and blues but they're sticking to those pastel colours which gives it that retro feel. I just, I just love it. It's amazing. <laughs> and choosing a colour scheme and sticking to it makes your videos look better because you're using colours that work well together and complement each other. So it's going to visually stand out and grab people's attention even more. But sticking with that retro theme, all of the props in this video look very authentic. You've got an old school drum kit with the old style stands. You can see the stands look really flimsy. If you look at new drum stands, they're really thick and that just wouldn't go with this type of video. Same with the bongos, same with the keys, but my favorite bit, the fan. Have you seen the fan? I'm your biggest fan. Biggest fan. Look at that fan in the background. How cool does that look? Along with the bass amp in the background. Is that a bass amp or guitar amp? I think it does it again there with the 
movement of the legs, the camera follows the, that dance move. Yeah, a little zoom in that time. The camera is just following the movement of the dancers the whole time. Although they're in one location for this whole video, they've actually chosen some different angles to mix up the video a little bit to keep the interest. So they've gone for different shots, they're positioned in a slightly different way, the camera's facing the opposite direction this time. So even if you do only have one location, that is how to have more interest. Oh. Love that, love that little reflection on the bass scratch plate there. There, so that there's like a bit of backlighting or side lighting and when the bass player moves into the light, you get that nice reflection off of the bass guitar, it's so nice. Another thing that helps emphasize that shine though, if you look at the their glasses or any shiny objects, you can see that it's got that misty glow and they've obviously used a mist filter of some sort like I'm using and you can see that in the background, you get that nice glow. I'm using the Tide Optics Cinesoft filter, I'll leave a link below, incredible filter, really affordable, can't recommend them enough, great company. So check those out if you wanna get that sort of effect. And that added with that film grain and the color grade, it's just, it's, oh. I'm gonna need a drink, I'm getting excited. You'll notice as well that nothing in this video is overly saturated. It's very, very much pastel colours and oh, it's just great. You can look at, see the trees. In real life they would be bright green, but they've gone for more of a yellow over the green. So when you colour grade him, that's what you can do. And the sky is not blue. They've gone for that greeny yellow in the highlights type look. So that's another thing you can do. I will do... I think I might do a separate video about retro colour grading because I have got a pack coming out on the way very soon. I've been working on it for over a year. It's almost done, I've just been doing other stuff. There it is, there's the fan. <laughs> Look at it. So there's a lot of sweeping movements where the camera will sweep from left to right, but they mix that up with the use of tighter shots, also handheld shots as well. So it's not just that side to side movement the whole way through. So if you are going to film a video, make sure that you've got a selection of shots that you can cut to if that one movement or one angle gets a little bit too boring. Amazing. Oh. It's one of those things where I wish I'd have wrote that song. <laughs> if you want to see more of this style video, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to get notified of new videos. Thanks so much for watching, have a great week and I will see you in the next one.